Homicide detectives say the evidence trail points to 25-year-old Terrace Vinson as the man who murdered Janet Mejia. Vinson was actually arrested last Thursday on unrelated charges. Uh, during the investigation, some firearms were found. Uh, he is a prohibited person from owning firearms. So he was arrested that day for uh, a felon in possession of firearms. Friends of Janet Mejia gathered today at the makeshift memorial outside the Pepperwood Knoll apartment complex where she lived. It hit home. It hit home really bad this time. You know, finding out she, you know, she was dumped, things like that is terrifying. Janet Mejia's body was discovered Thursday night in Placer County after detectives found her car abandoned in the Arden Arcade area miles away. The autopsy reveals she had been shot to death. At Mejia's apartment complex today, residents we talked to expressed a sense of shock and sadness. And she had her whole life ahead of her. It was not fair. Mejia graduated from Sacramento State just last year with a degree in American Sign Language and Deaf Studies, and she worked at Nordstrom in the Roseville Galleria. In a statement today, Nordstrom said, We were deeply saddened to hear of Janet's death. Our hearts go out to her family and friends for the tragic loss of a bright young woman. Bright, beautiful, I mean, mindset, ready to go. You know, she was getting ready for new things. She had a new journey coming up. Janet Mejia's dream of becoming an interpreter for the death cut tragically short by her murder. Meanwhile, Terrace Vincent remains here in the Sacramento County Jail facing arraignment on Wednesday. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.